Welcome back to my meal prep Sunday series. We're going to be using some sharp cheddar and some pepper jack cheese to make these gluten-free, zero-carb crackers. Since my dad and I have been on this journey to lose some weight before our big trip this summer, we have really started to gravitate towards low-carb recipes because honestly, I think that's just what it's going to take to get me to lose weight. And although there are a lot of great options in the grocery stores as far as low-carb breads or zero-carb tortillas, crackers and chips seem to be an issue. Although I have to say that my protein chips are an excellent thing when I want a crunchy, salty snack, but I haven't been as fortunate finding a cracker that I like. So we decided to make these cheese crackers. I started by cutting the block of cheese in half and I showed you it was two sticks of cheese by the end of that. And that's what I showed you up close just a moment ago. And now I'm taking a really sharp knife and, and I'm just going to cut thin slices of the cheese. Now a good shortcut for this process or a hack is just to buy the Sargento thin slices and then cut them into squares. But today while we were out at the grocery store, we looked for the Sargento thins and they did not have them. So we just had to make do, which is really no big deal. It's just that this method is going to take you a little bit longer and your slices may not all be the exact same thickness but that's okay because that gives you a little bit of interest and variety in your crackers you could also use any flavor of cheese that you like i just chose a normal sharp cheddar because i really wanted that nice cheesy flavor and then pepper jack because it's personally one of my favorites and after we were done cooking and baking these cheese crackers it was so odd to me or it was just funny that everyone preferred the pepper jack over the cheddar. And I'm just showing you here how thin I tried to slice that cheese. Now, back to this cheddar versus pepper jack cheese situation. I noticed that the texture of the two cheeses was completely different after it was baked. So the pepper jack cheese slices or cheese crackers actually have a little bit of chew, way more like a regular cracker. And the cheddar turned out to be a lot crispier, like a really thin chip. Plus the pepper jack just had more flavor and a nice little kick in the back. So after I placed the slices of cheese onto a parchment paper lined cookie sheet, I just put them in the oven at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. And then I just rotated them in and out. So I slid off the parchment paper of the ones that I just cooked. And then I put a fresh piece of parchment paper down and started doing cheese again. Now, because I was doing so many crackers, I think it wound up being 123 and I didn't want to put them too close together because you don't want them to melt together. This process took me quite a while because each batch takes 20 minutes and I didn't do more than one cookie sheet of them. I just did one and just kept rotating. So in the meantime, I was making bread, I was making dinner, I was washing dishes. I just set that timer and then I would rotate them in and out. Now, again, I was making a lot of crackers and I was using both of those entire blocks of cheese because I was meal prepping for my dad and myself. But you can feel free to make as many crackers as you would like. And you can make a batch every day if you want to, but this is meal prep. So I was just making all of the crackers that I wanted to make for the entire week. And again, you're just gonna see this process repeated over and over. You guys, these crackers are amazing. They're delicious, they're tasty, they're salty, crispy, crunchy. They're just the perfect snack, especially if you're trying to do well. And if you're on a low carb or a keto journey and chips and crackers seem to be out of your reach, have no fear. Make this recipe and you can satisfy that salty crunch that you are still craving. You have to make this one, you have to.